fucking dream. Celebrate. Ooh, something there for you. You swallow it? You're supposed to chew it. You're swallowing them.
Just a classic chicken today. Lettuce, tomato, pickles on there. Kind of weird. Good amount of mayonnaise on there. I would have added cheese if I thought about it, but... Can't have the red meat every day, you know? Another nice day. The weather and the money. Times like this is when it it's a good thing that I'm a regular with this guy. And uh I guess we're sort of friends, I don't know. Maybe I'd like to think of him as my friend, but Two thousand eight Chevy Impala. You'd think it would be a regular bread loaf, they call them, but I noticed when I picked it up, it looked a little different. It was coming off the manifold at the back. It's a V six, but you kind of you can't really see most of it, and then it like curves down instead of a regular one that would just be you know flat under the car you just chop it off straight so again ten bucks for them to pull it off not even worth messing with it so I tried to tell them before they cut it off. I said, you know, I was looking around a little, a couple of pages on Facebook there. And guys have uh, conversations about the converters and the pricing. And I, I looked that up and um, it was a guy that posted, he had a uh, 2007 Grand Prix, which is, you know, all those GMs in those years are pretty much the same same engine and everything um and it had that that cat look just like the one on that impala and he said it was really good like up there in price so sure enough the uh the guy's wife that works in the office she knows, you know, she knows a lot about stuff, but not as much as him. So she tried getting the code off of it because on those GMs, they got an eight-digit code, and it makes a big difference. It can hurt you, too. Some guys will buy them without code and give a straight price, and you might be better off in some cases, but then sometimes you might lose money. So, she tried getting the code off of it once they cut it off, and she couldn't read it. I couldn't read the thing. I couldn't even get one digit off of there. It's too rusty. So, luckily, he was just coming back from picking up, you know, picking up a junk. So he showed up and said, he looked at it, he couldn't read it all, but, you know, if you can read a couple, you can sort of match it up to something in the book. So he did that, and uh, about four different tries, 
and they finally found the one and he said yeah that's the one and he said how much is that paying and his wife said well you ain't gonna know but for reasons I'm not supposed to talk about exact pricing of stuff like that, but you know, with YouTube, but um, I'll just tell you, it was a big difference. If he had just said nope, he could have said, can't read the number, give you this much. But finding that code and matching that up made me a lot more money than I expected on that. The car had four aluminum wheels. Battery. So, I'll just say this. It was a pretty good payday for that. That was a good one. Another customer, somebody else off the street, he would have just told them, no, I'm too rusty, I can't read it. Gave him a price. And that was that would have been that, but he makes money, I make money. I do more business with him. If he keeps me happy, I keep him happy by bringing them more cars. That's how it works. Well, shoot that one a little bit. So we hustle another day. It's a perfect weather for Rosie over here. Be riding in the truck. Doesn't like it when it's uh, too hot. And doesn't like it when it's too cold. So, about 60 degrees. And then we celebrate. Rosie swallows chicken nuggets and uh, chews the fries. That's the way it goes. <laughs> 